Welcome. Today I'm demonstrating the new workflow between Palo Alto Networks and Endace. Here's a diagram of the setup. I have a VM series virtual firewall running on my Endace probe as an IDS. Traffic is being captured to disk and it's being inspected in real time by VM series. We're also using the API to integrate Palo Alto Network's firewall or panorama threat logs with the Endace Vision Investigation tools. Let me show you how this works. After logging in, let's view the threat activity under the ACC tab. We see already over a thousand alerts logged. Let's look at the spyware activity and dig a little deeper to see what's been happening. I can zoom in on the spyware threats, open the threat log focused on one of these threats, then open the detailed log view. Notice the two log links. These are two Endace probes that have been capturing all the network traffic. We can have weeks of network data stored on these probes. By clicking on the log link, we go straight to the Endace investigation GUI with the filter zoomed in on the IP and time range for the threat that we're looking at. From here, I can add different filters, look at traffic from different perspectives, such as by protocol or application, or even expand or refine the IP address ranges of the filters. I can also add different tools to the view by bandwidth, conversation, top talkers, traffic breakdown, and various TCP analysis tools. These are very useful when investigating threats. The top talkers shows us that most of the data for this connection is moving out of the network to an address in Canada. Sounds like this machine is compromised. From here we can take a look at the packet data. Notice the unusually large GET request with a long hex string. This looks suspiciously like keyboard data to me. Time to take some action and isolate this machine before it causes some damage. I hope you saw how quick and easy it was to investigate this threat using the new integrated workflow between Palo Alto Networks and Endace. Thanks for watching.